going now. Wow. Tommy was allowed. Oh, the eternal war. You untouch lights, they look for talk. See as you be. Like masquerade, where they hang for war. She did the agbe call. Eh? Koto da bi balu, eh? Face me, I face you. You look like a local bathroom constructed out of wrought iron. Where local people go to have their early morning bath before the day breaks. Where they use their towel to do door. That's what you look like, Ashiri. I should go and sleep. The only reason why your father is sleeping this period is because it's not raining, because your house no get a roof. Any day start to roof, no sleep for now. One whole season. You can't hear can't they talk. Because where they do house boy work. The man forget to change in password, Wi-Fi password, where you don't know. A year only that, really. Please, 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 please. Uh, make you help me tag. Make you help me tag Mr. Jolof. Officially, Kechuku is here. Kills baby. Ah, today, I'm in the mood. You cross me like this. By the time I'm done with you, only you go rapture yourself. Don't get, me, don't get me in trouble now, brother. <laughs> You're about to get into trouble. What I do, what I do. Sorry, Joe. A house, even the adult, they're fine. No vex, when I, no vex. Yeah. Huh? I, when are you coming back to Nigeria? After election. No, I imagine I'm coming before election. Me we get PPC. That's the way one vote they have. Eh, yes. Eh, come, come, come. I just want to ask a few questions. What is really going on with WizKid these days? It's like Wiz is acting out of character. I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. you know the whole WizKid um, enigma. All of a sudden. Whiskey, don't they, don't they treat back? Ah. You understand? Everybody, everybody is allowed to change up how they yeah. how they move now. But but as in what's the what, first of all the tour with Davido? What is your what's your take on it? I'm actually I was actually very happy to see that you know I'm actually I, I'm actually very excited to to you know experience that happen for many reasons. Hmm. I'm waiting to hear your reasons. Okay, well, I mean, I mean, it would be great for just the you know the entertainment industry on a whole. It would be great for the culture, the Afro Afrobeats movement. You know, it would be great as a you know another export, like just you know a support blow to the movement itself, expanding on it. You know, it'll go. I think it'll go places. And you know, some people are even making jokes about you know you see in some comments left and right people making jokes about. Oh, maybe they will go carry this person on tour, carry Beyonce on tour. Maybe they go, maybe this person no vex if they're not carrying them out. Actually, that's the truth. Because you're speaking of two global heavyweights right now that are at the at the the you know the forefront of a global wave. Sure you get. So any international or global artist that is tacked onto that tour, you know, should be, should feel privileged or you know should you know should be very very happy about it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? <laughs> it's all right, all right. I care everything where they talk nowadays. Now you know what I mean. You know what I mean, I don't go back to my New York days. <laughs> yes. Where are you now? What part of America are you in? I'm in Maryland. I'm in Maryland. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now the story with Mister Jolof. Now that one, no one can clear to me. Which so you see, Miss, you know, say me. I've been, I've been chiming earlier on when I've been see the first statements. You understand? But after everything come, it'd be like say the thing I explode afterwards. I, mean, I just had myself pull back the look. You understand? Because initially I was just like, uh ah, why the love go talk this kind of thing? Now when we they try bring people together, we they try to do unified movement, gonna they bring scatter talk. You understand? I say no, you go outside this one. But then 
Apparently, it went further than that now. So, me, I know put my heart inside one way, go past that one. Because I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried. You know, first of all, Wiz and David, I wouldn't say they're not, because we don't know what really happens behind closed doors. Yo, my brother, this thing that you just said, mm -hmm. it is the most important factor that needs to be paid attention to. We don't know what is being said behind closed doors. For all we know, these two brothers have been in deep discussion about this thing for a long period of time, and they finally decided that now is the time to know who got the money. If you haven't heard that song, please go and download it or stream it. You know what I'm saying? One of my biggest hits, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, but what I'm trying to say, though, <laughs> is that we have no idea. We have no idea how long these guys have been talking about this stuff. And if they have decided that this is, you know, the first stage of their rollout, that left ways, yeah, and first, and then David will now come and buttress, and then soon we'll now see one flyer. You understand? Because putting a ways David tour together is not beans. You understand? It's something that requires serious planning. Maybe they're even planning on involving Burner now. That would be like, you know, all three of them. Oh, I love that reaction. I love that. You see? You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? You see how powerful that thing hits you? It just gave you bullseye in the chest. It's like the unified spirit, which was actually why I was taken aback when, you know, Jellof made that statement. He might have his reasons, you know, and then again, I might have been a bit, you know, you know, premature to jump based on that. But I just, I'm for the whole unified movement. I, I love the, I love the, you know, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The implications. Mm. I love the implications. Mm of that you understand you know um and more than anything else there's something i also want to advise them that's the giants mm. there was a time when p square two face and the bunch mm. were the giant yeah. or then the bunch um before the bunch left music mm. or music Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm not sure what sequence that followed, but what I'm trying to say is there was a time when, if you if, if you're if you're having a big concert mm -hmm. and you are not using three of them, you're yeah. using at least three of them. Yeah. And all of a sudden now, it's no longer like that. It's not all of a sudden though. Mm. Explain to me. I don't say now. Nah, time don't pass now. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You don't say. And it, as you don't say, yes, yeah, you don't say. If you think I'm now, sir, so two of our, that time, two of our spirit, now our spirit God. And right now, two of us still now our spirit God. So nothing changed for two of our, you get me? But the culture, sure you get, the, the culture has shifted. The paradigm has shifted. It's the young ones who are more focused on the, the follow-ups, and the follow-ups have taken the game to the next level. It's a, it's a whole big thing. Like, I mean, it, it, in comparison to how the game was back then, you can, you can argue about them being at par because what them dudes did for the game back then is quantifiably equal, you know, equivalent to what guys are doing right now, given the tools and the traction that had been put in place prior to them coming to the game. Sure you get. But at the same time, you have to also give, you know, give honors and give dues where they're, you know, they're supposed to be applied. And boys have taken the game, man, they've taken it far. They've taken it far. They learned from, they learned from us. And they saw where we made mistakes and they, you know, made sure they perfected in those corners, I mean, everybody's everybody has their everybody has their own flaws. Like I know Yan too much, but at the end of the day, I really do respect what the young boys have done with the game, you know, overall, you know, and I and I would, and I would appreciate it a whole lot more if they actually recognize the fact that our boys set the stage for that takeover. Mm, 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 so when they do that, you know, maybe they remember us, you know. You yeah, remember us, maybe we carry us, maybe we come do our classic songs for them. You, you understand? You, you, like, you said, like you said, to be very honest, Tu Baba is still Tu Baba. Eh? Look at P Squared. Do you, do you not see what P Squared is doing right now? Do you not see what P Squared 
It's doing right now. Let, I will I will hold her tell you. I will hold her tell you. You can't those two boys, Peter and Paul, they can't tell me anything. In fact, Jude might have been the one that orchestrated this whole thing. They broke up specifically to make up. Ah, is you it, see that deep, break up. Deep, Bobby, that, that one is deep. The that drama was deep. Breakup, the break cost too much. Mm. The break you see P Square, P Square was like an own goal. I don't know why they had to go through what they went through. Career-wise, it, 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 was, it, was, it was a sip of sniper. Yes, at the end of the day, they might have, it might have helped their personal lives and their uh, state of mind and mental health and all that, yeah. But career-wise, it was a sip of sniper. To their each his own. To each his own, man. We don't know how they feel. That might be our opinion, though. You, that might be our opinion, though, but to but them, when it comes to music, they are no longer where they were. Of course, like you said, age happens. Mm -hmm. And I tried to, at a point, intervene. Like, guys, huh, all, of us, all of us did now. Every single one of us. We carry the matter on our head. We hate. Hey. You see, what, what, what I'm trying to say is, my idea was, guys, enter inside bedroom, go give on ourselves blue, but come outside as one. That was very, 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 I don't know how they could have done it because you see, the lifespan of an artist is 10 years. Mm. That's a phenomenal artist. There are the Michael Jacksons, the Elvis Presleys, the exceptional ones that would cross that line. But if you have a 10 year lifespan you have done well now oh. with people like this one way you talk oh this one way you talk I, uh, let me say me i try oh uh. you try okay you baba they go on try. baba they go on and they learn something they go on and they learn oh. something they go they talk he, he probably is the only national artist that started knowing that the moment he got on that stage for his career he put a, a town down time i was watching it Nine years, six months. Nine years, three months. Seven years, one month. Mm. He was counting it down. And mm. he was working on his contingency plans. That is why he is very vested and focused on upcoming artists. The, the, the energy that he should spend on himself, he's spending it on up and coming artists who have their own 10 years mm. so if, if, mm. if I come out and I push you out for instance um, and, I, and I push say Jalof out as I'm finishing my 10 years I have another 20 years cumulative with the two of you which can now extend my own 10 years by maybe 5 years understood and it will be in your contract that if I'm struggling as an artist and I need you to feature, you will feature me and give me that relevance back. It will, I will put it in, in black and white. Olamide Ola is still strong enough as an artist not to need his... Um, what, what, what are those his boys? Um, mention to Olamide. Any of his artists. Any of his YBNL artists. I mean, Asha Kev, Fireboy... Um, you, you understand? Look at Ashake, for instance. Mm -hmm. Ashake is a retirement plan. If Ashake was my younger brother, my parents would retire on him. Let alone, and, and he doesn't have any, they don't have any check room. No Wait, bro, you know what? I, I need to ask you a question, actually. Yeah. Sorry, I don't, not to interrupt, but what is your take? I would like to hear you your take because actually now the reason why i come your life now <laughs> i wanted to hear your take on this on the whole jell or jell matter now now that's why i'm going somewhere and, and, and i'm going to get there okay. you see, we need to because my take is more of a message mm. you see um olamide was wise enough to plug in Olamide has, everybody has artists. You, you'd be amazed how, how well put together the prince of, May, of Mohit formerly used mm -hmm. to be. He's quiet, but he has boys. Eh? <laughs> he has eh? Double R, Rema, Ruga. Uh, 
Forget. Then Forget. He did. So, so, so he's, he's, he's an Igbo man with Igbo sense. Sing small, make more money. Small work, plenty money. You understand? So he plugged in. Now, there's some artists, Don Jazzy too is sorted, definitely, uh, with, <laughs> you know, you, Don Jazzy is uh, a guy on his own. Yeah. Um, that was why my worry was more of e square and the contingency plan. Two Baba mm. is two Baba. He will always be two Baba. Mm. Uh, the band to contingency plan. Mm. Nobody no will talk. Uh, no, I mean, I, I mean, we don't know now. There's, there are no artists on that band. I mean, K switch though. K switch though. K switch though. If he's given the opportunity, artist. But if they don't push K switch quickly, unless K switch has his own boys like the Prince does. Ah. You need to. You see. Listen. I like, I like. I like this one where you just talk now. Who has the boy? Twizzy. Do you know Don Jazzy and the Prince and I say Don Jazzy and the Prince, Don Jazzy and the band were separating. Mm. I pitched the band. I would not say I regret it, but I do. Let me just talk a hoha. Of course, none of them was feeding me, but I just felt that I just felt that um, the band was a more was the entertainer. That all he needed to do was work with a good producer and he would blow. I didn't realize that. Yes, the band was an entertainer, but every entertainer gets season. You have to understand that when um, two entities like, like that come together, it's for a reason. And part of the reason is the amount of time spent through development with each other. You get me? I mean, a producer is a producer, you know, but when it's an when you when it's a talent that you have sat there and analyzed and figured out it's it becomes exactly what you just said where one person is allowed to be that entertainer while the other person is cooking you know the food a new a new producer cannot do that with you because the new producer is fresh the new producer doesn't know you the new producer hasn't spent time with you and you too will not even be comfortable with that new producer especially if you're someone of that caliber or feel like you are of that caliber you understand so man as is a as a an unfortunate uh it, it um, is man, i honestly felt that, that the band is the entertainer don jazzy is just the producer he will make. I mean, Don Jazzy. I took the, the I, I took the bandy side to the point where I clashed with Don Jazzy and all that. But you see, I learned something in the process. It's not about the producer or the act. It's mm. about the contingency plan. Don Jazzy quickly made Maven. Yeah, From because I mean, when you when you build when you build something, and you have the hindsight, or you know, you have the the high sight, you know, to see how it's beginning to fall apart because you built it you know you have the sense to see it falling apart it is it behooves you to have a contingency plan that you can you know activate mm. yeah ray king row seven uh says freeze what's your take you're just talking rubbish you see unfortunately your drunk father right now is on his way home from the beer parlor he has consumed a large amount of palm wine he will not be able to pay for because he has no job and you that should be working to send him money so he can augment his palm wine assistance and here we have time instead of fixing your security work. Collect your raking and go back watching your ogre's garage so that something doesn't get stolen. Let me yes. <laughs> Let me <laughs> <laughs> this is huh. multi uh faceted and there's advice I have for everybody else who's watching this. Um still back to the band and jazzy, aside from a contingency plan using other people, you also have a contingency plan using yourself. Mm. And I learned Jazzy. 
all the while where Jazzy was producing, Jazzy was building a followership on Twitter. Exactly. That, of us never know it in Twitter. Jazzy don't gather. I mean, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there, I did there and I've been there, because me did that before everybody, to be honest. But the way the guy oversurpassed everybody, just go boom. boom. It was. Boom. We are. We used to be in the same house now. Uh -uh, in Maryland, we go come back. We see we we feel come out. When I say we, you know who we be. We feel come out when we come back. Jazzy, they follow us. They come out sometimes, but most of the times you go just there. Him and Doctor Sid and Andrew. They go just there. You know Andrew, Doctor Sid brother. You know saying be the consigliere that time, <laughs> bro. Jazzy go open in laptop. You get that that time. You get that thing where they call Tweet Deck. Yeah. Remember yeah. Tweet Deck? Oh man. Yes, on your laptop, you don't need to be doing it on your phone. You have everything. Jazzy was the king of Twitter, bro. And that's why it doesn't shock me that he's so, you know, savvy. He's so Insta savvy. Come, that office on Victoria Island, mm -hmm. is that Jazzy's new? In Victoria Island, I know the Maven, I know the Maven, Maven offices in Oniro. There is a Maven office along. I don't know if it's Maven or it's something else. Guys, I, I, I was looking. I haven't been I in Lagos. Looking. I haven't been in Lagos since before Christmas. I left before Christmas because of this thing. Wife on the Zenith Bank Road. I think that's Adjusi Adeogu, if I'm correct. Okay, and okay. I the Maven house. I'm like, don't just don't carry this matter. End that VI. If he said Maven, if he said Maven, it's obviously theirs now. <laughs> Maven, but it was, it didn't look like you know, it looked like Maven, but it didn't look like so. I wasn't just sure, I was like, and also because Victoria Island is big branding, that is, yeah, like opposite Zenith Bank. Mm. Maven House sounds like something, sounds like no. something that he would do because you know, they there it of, today is the day and age of hubs, huh? So, so, some people actually, I'm just reading the comments, some people are saying that staff office. It is Maven. You see, you see, you see. Now, if that truly is Maven, I owe on Jazzy A. Why? Because, you see, let me explain this to you. And this is where Wiz, David, and Berna need to understand where I'm going. Long, long, longevity. Longevity. <laughs> now, I didn't bank my money on Don Jazzy. I banked my money on Dibanj. That time I knew the band from far. Um, he was the star. Uh, we got along. We had personal dealings. And by the time the band did the band to me, <laughs> what do you mean? I did don't the cost band to you. What did he do to you? Go into it. I don't want to go into the band and the band is. Um, story and I don't want I don't want to get upset and now say yeah. because this is not. Yeah, 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 let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. I'm I'm just trying. To on the artist mm -hmm. because and we still you guys can still carry this story go back to the gel of matter we're going to i'm with so, you so if you look at that evolution of jazzy mm -hmm. right when he comes out and dances he still produces has a whole level of uh contingencies under him all working investments uh, he even has a burger what? right now. Jazzy even got Jazzy <laughs> burger right now. <laughs> it's like he's got the Midas touch. Trust me on that. And then now moving to the P Square, the Debanj, mm. and the P Square, the Debanj, and the Burner. Sorry, the P Square, the Debanj, and the Two Face, Two Baba. We have another three giants, just like it was. It's like it's like history repeating itself. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you remember back then, even though Tubaba wasn't involved per se, there was really a competition against each other who can outdo the other. You know, there wasn't really that unity that you're speaking of that is necessary for these guys that are watching from behind. You get me? So the question is, are they actually going to acknowledge that as one of those flaws that we in our own set made and fix up and not make the same mistake or are they going to follow suit mm -hmm. and that takes us exactly to where we have arrived at god bless you <laughs> i see this person wrote contingency 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 <laughs> baba contingency is key it is it is 
every artist has his lifespan, his uh, peculiar gift, his mm -hmm. uh, ability. And we have now gotten to the stage where burners on a rise right now. Yeah. Remember, during the band, uh, Two Face and Peace, where there were ups and downs, there were some times when the band was number one, when he dropped that song. Uh, when that, no, when yeah, that they song. Yeah, they used to drag it. They used to drag it. They used to drag it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it will be too far with them. Peace Square will come. Mm -hmm. Then the band will come again before they all um, went from the top spot and the younger guys started taking over. Coming to Wiz, Wiz is extraordinarily talented. I don't know what his contingency plan is. But then having a fight with someone like John Loft. Yes, it might look like you will crush him, but I think it's unhealthy for the industry because whether you like it or not, John Loft is a big name. And taking a swipe at John Loft is, in my honest opinion, out of character for Wiz. Mm. It's like, is Wiz having an out of body experience? What's going on? Why would he take a shot at Jolof? But was that was that was that a direct swipe at Jolof? It was a swipe, non at two. It was a swipe. At two. <laughs> because now, I was, now I was the carry I'm, now I was the carry I'm on top of her head saying uh, Jolof is the attacker. You don't mention Jolof name more. Unless what he said. Some people have inside information that that thing particularly pertains directly to Jalof, which I didn't see Jalof's name. I didn't see any connection. You know, so at the end of the day, I, when I, yeah, I kind of saw a connection. Okay. okay. So, of big name compared to Wiz. No, Jalof is not a big name compared to Wiz. Wiz is in his right. Wiz is bigger than all of us, except Bernard and David. Now them the dragon. But, but you see, sometimes you've got to be careful. You've got to pick your battle carefully. Mm. Another problem with Jolof is we don't know where Jolof did. Because Stella just said they defeat Planner. One lie, defeat Planner. Nothing. The, one day I just woke up, I saw Jolof. For all me. we know, Jolof has just done his job that he was told that he was assigned. That is what I'm also thinking of now. Because mm -hmm. Jolo, we see Jolof with Tinubu. All of a sudden now we see Jolof with Atiku. The same the way he was greeting Tinubu. Now he's greeting Atiku. <laughs> Jolof, Jolof, has learned, Jolof has learned the number one rule about all these politics. is just a game to them. God bless you. Yeah. Real world in day here. Real world to kill. That would be somebody that would be nice to have on this live. More even hear her perspective. I, I tell you, as a worry girl. No process she did like make I just invite her anyway. Ah, uh, she go enter and uh, a correct person worry. <laughs> ah, it's what I tell you. Your mindset care at this time. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> God, we the suffer for this life, sure, for this acting industry. I took you to come inside boo boo yeah. those things we would die for night you understand i just see fully dressed person I say, oh my god she dressed up my life <laughs> she did not say to live live bro. so my darling sister what is your perspective she knows she'll say she should talk this matter because when she did no pure <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes, then we'll go down. Hey. Ah, you don't run. I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I talk calm now. I talk calm just now, now, now. Make I tell you something. Mm. Social media, na cruise ship. Yep. Social mm. media, and, and, bye bye. If I tell you the kind of places I've been, it's like, I, 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 there's something in the scriptures where the, uh, the scripture said, God showed his ways to Moses. Oh. Let me quote it for you. 
And uh, because you are an industry person, I'm going to raise this with you. Okay. Uh, Psalm 103, verse 7. So, he revealed his ways to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. If you read it in NLT, the NLT says he revealed his character to Moses and then his deeds to the people of Israel. The people of Israel. Verse 7. Why did I bring this? You see, social media we before the limelight on social media are like gods we are in a mm. heavenly mm -hmm. what mm. is interpreted by mankind how mankind wants i don't know if i'm making sense to you no i'm hearing you they, you're right too. Way, but they don't they sorry they see our deeds but they don't know our ways it is our ways that we carry and give them that they, that they run along with and defend us. <laughs> Not knowing that I've been in situations where two people, where the whole world believes that they fight. We sit down together, they drink. Plus the influencer, we want to use, sit down there. All of us, they drink. They hatch the yeah. and the that's what That's what the social media is now. So social media, media like a caucus of gods the commenters mm. 300 mm -hmm. they are men the men look up to the gods they don't understand the gods yeah. they don't understand the lives of the gods they make assumption of assumptions about the gods and then they run with it and create all sorts of narrative meanwhile the gods are looking at them <laughs> Baba, if I tell you this thing, eh, wallah, you don't believe. There are people who are beefing on social media. With me and them, they drink together. But for social media, not beef, and we like it. It's healthy. We keep it that way. It makes sense sometimes. You understand? So, so this whole Jolof narrative is like trying to predict the actions of the gods. We don't know whether Jolof is on whiskey side. We I, don't I, know whether. And you know, say. Me and Jolof, we don't get problem at all. Now my guy. Now my guy too. So now, so me believe say part of the reason why he no answer me or why he no come, why he no give me again, again because nothing really did there like that. You understand? <laughs> so you know, I, I, I begin to understand what happens when Nidu walks into the room, mm. for instance. All the entertainment people know themselves. Yes. They know who they sit down, they drink with, who they smoke with, who they, they mess with. Mm -hmm. um, but you see, the problem is we need to keep the people entertained. Just mm. looking at celebrities, social media, and the people, we understand. You have a glimpse into the angels and God, how they need to do things just keep us entertained. Us busy, let us run around like rats on a treadmill, going nowhere, running and running and running. And, and at the end of the day, it really amounts to nothing. Here's what I think I, I think this is on a, a, fine. You know, sometimes social media things happen by chance, then people quickly meet up and say, You know what, let's use this to our advantage and yeah. catch a plan. Sometimes yeah. you run all along, sometimes some people don't quickly call. The love. Some people don't quickly call whiskey now. Say, Baba, okay, don't let this thing get messy. Let's ah. use this as an let, let's use this to an end. Okay, let's do this. 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 Next, the next thing here is Dino, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else, don't plug in. Ah, oh, re worry, baby. Thank you. Re worry, baby. <laughs> Where are you, Anita? You cannot leave us and go and be doing set. Oh, more people they work hard. Oh, one fifty-three a.m. Where I think they only me go there awake. Person they fully dressed for set. They walk. They end leave. I tell you now, our work now. I uh, see, bros. I don't day set. Uh, may I give you one gist like this before we branch? May I not branch you too much? But I don't day set. Where then my call time now seven thirty a.m. and I only get like maybe four scenes, and before I come. But they, they break. 
Ah, now one I'm normal now. Now one I'm normal now. They break. <laughs> so it's like they'll tell you like I remember the first job I got. I'm not gonna mention it. Eh? When the paperwork came in and I saw the money on the contract, I called them. I said, ah, there must be a mistake here. This offer will not offer. It'd be like say they miss one zero. <laughs> you understand? You get me? They laugh, they say, ah, bros, I beg no vex. So we don't say you be superstar for musical, but this is our Nollywood different. <laughs> I won't die. I say the money where they the money where they normally refuse to do appearance for club. Now the money we are gonna collect to shoot whole film, whole film. I say wow, well, wood. Nah, that's the way RMD tell me that the truth. You know, it's an RMD. You tell me. He talks, say, if you're really a thespian, then you have to understand that in Nigeria, this work is a labor of love. Hmm. It is a labor of love. You do it because you love it, not because it's giving you financial security, you know, financial freedom. You understand? It's not, it's not sheltering you. It's not taking care of your family. You're doing it because you love it. You must have other avenues of income, revenue. Do you understand? Mm. Until you blow, blow, blow. Because now, nah, Baba, nah, bab, I mean, Baba don't be Baba for Tete. You don't be Baba Tete. You understand? So, he no really if he talked that well about himself. But general caucus of the entire industry. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh and that makes a lot of sense. And um, sadly, we will start industry. Now, us is our head, break all the wall, clear the road for those ones where they come to shine. I remember yeah. when I was on the radio in Cool FM, my first salary was 15000 Yes. <laughs> the, the bands don't start to the blue. I was earning 40000 naira a month. Mm. When I left radio last year, when I resigned last year. Are you year, fully, fully done with radio? Fully? Fully, fully, fully. Wow. And, uh, that, that, that deserves a round of applause. And I put this phone down and clap. <laughs> wow. Do you know the heavy entity that you are that is on radio? You, for you to just say, I'm done with it and let it go. Oof. And like you said, it was a labor of love. Now it's time to labor for my Ferrari. Yes, so. Nah, Ferrari. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. I no, the kind of money where they collect before. No, the kind of money where they collect now. I tell you that for free. People know now. They know now. The way the game is now, you have to up the game. Bro, yes. When I left radio, my last salary in the radio was two hundred and sixty-six thousand naira a month last mm -hmm. year. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, my bonus for 21 years of work on the radio was 3.7 million naira. That's my, my, my parting fee. But you see, I don't blame the radio station that's the industry. It's a labor of love. Yeah. You understand? The last time I was saying it, I was live with somebody who paid for my lives. He said, Baba, for the last six months of last year, he came on my life four times and I charged him a million, which is my regular fee, no discount. So he said, Baba, in the last three, four months, I gave you more than the radio, me alone gave you more than the radio station gave you in 21 years. I said, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and oh boy, now wow. Now, oh, wow. You guys think I'm not, the game don't change now. Things are different now. Change. But, but what am I trying to say in essence is, it was still a labor of love. We loved it. And if you don't love the industry, you can't ride it out. Because there's, a level of snitching you will not get in the bank. Mm. There's a mm. level of pressure. There is a level of depression. There is a level of mental health tasking. Yeah. 
that you will go through in this industry. Preach, Daddy, freeze, that preach, preach. Through if you work in an oil company or a bank. Yeah. You are living your life out in front of. You know, one of the things I start stopped doing was I stopped attending all these Mnet, uh, Africa, what what these those their shows they do. I think they called me once, twice. Mm. I told them to not call me again in not those exact words, in much harsher terms. Mm. Because first, they're calling me to invite me to your event and you tell me you have one ticket for me. So where do I, where I keep my wife? What is the meaning of that? That you have already said you don't. Why are you inviting me when you're uninviting me by your invites? <laughs> <laughs> you're uninviting me by your by invites. Your invite. <laughs> then the next go on online and see how people dress up to your event. Meaning, if I just wear my t-shirt like this, okay. Anyway, now industry to make I just show face. If I wear this my t-shirt and wear the pair of jeans and slippers, I will not make your red carpet. I have to go and sew 1.5 million naira cloth like Ebuka so that they can see me. Ebuka know they sew now. It's part of Ebuka's contract. God bless you. So they will sew and give Ebuka, but me, I will go use money so my way. understand? So me, I'm going to come to your event. You are not paying me for attending your event. But I'm adding value. I'm adding value. Even if I dress in rag, I still content. Yeah, you're now. adding value. I was going to say, you be who you be. Worst dressed people, they go put daddy freeze there. <laughs> if I <laughs> best dressed. So I sat down and I thought about it. I'm like, there's so many things about my brand, about me that I have to change. And I was like, look, I'm not attending anything. You are not paying me to attend. I'm not your family. You want me to be there and smile. You will mm. pay me and you will clothe mm. me. I'm not going mm. to. The only thing maybe I can do is I can dash one of my Louboutins that I've never worn before. Just decide to wear it for you and honor you finish. But that cloth where I go wear, when I go dash me the cloth, then I go wear and come give a content where una they look for. So, so... Wala, wala, wala. <laughs> how crazy the industry is. There's no pressure. As a banker, if you have a gala night, you wear your same suit. Just change the shirt, put tie, a different, put a floral tie, mm. change the shirt. You wear the same suit you wore to the office, nobody will know. My grandfather used to say, it's not about the number of suits you have. It's about the number of shirts, pocket squares, and ties that you have. Yeah. You understand? No, I, totally, I totally get it. It's a different time. It's a different time, and it's a different age. And uh, man, just honestly, I really do hope that you know, even though it was like it was just right here on this thing that I said, ah, if Bernard joins the whole thing, I'll be mad. I really do hope that Homeboy has actually pulled this thing off, man. And I hope it's not just an African tour. I mean, it should be a global tour, you know, and it should take Afro beats on. Bro, did you notice that these guys are about to go on tour? I want them Nelly and T.I. and Lil Kim and all these. Oh, it's not a joke, oh. Their tour is selling out, oh. Straight up. Old school shit. Sell it out. Detroit, put your liners up. And it's going to go international. Bro, do you know it will sell out every country it touches down in? Straight. So, so. You know how many times, so, you know how many times we were trying to do more hits reunion? <laughs> ah, bro. Anyway, Sha. What would leave the. What? It didn't happen. happen. It didn't happen. That's what happened. What? It didn't happen. That's what happened. Eh? Why? Bro, that's the question you have to ask uh, Mohit. I saw somebody in the, in the comments saying, Ikechuku, were you ever signed to Mohit? You confused us that year. I was never signed to Mohit. I was always Storm Records, but whole Mohit were like my brothers. You know, they were my brothers. So that's what we rolled. We rolled like brothers. Uh, you know, at least I thought so. Huh? Storm Records was uh, Storm Records was was Olisa um, and uh, Obi yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, Tola Odunsi, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Boulders. Baba, make you hear Yano Tola Odunsi unfollowed me because I yap pastor. I show pastor waiting there inside Bible. He no like him. He unfollow me. They go in on waiting for Sammy. Which pastor? Him. Which pastor? I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was redeem or something. You know those days, pastor go talk something with big pass him out. I go correct him. I say, Baba, I don't be waiting by to talk with this. I, I, 
One day I follow followed you because of that. Did he yeah. say that that's why he followed you? He engaged me on it once and I and I shut it down. I'm like, dude, leave this thing. You he came from the whole, you don't know these people, these people are spiritual. I'm like, dude, what the what's what's spiritual? Are you I'm telling wow. you. I'm it, actually weak because that's 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 not his character. It wasn't it wasn't he unfollowed me. Entertainer, the people who remain for entertainment industry will follow me, no reach ten. Maximum twenty. Uh -huh. Exodus was Moses led the Israelites out of me, the Egypt, <laughs> because. I... <laughs> but anyway, jokes apart. Yeah. Uh, what happened to, to Storm Records? Let, let's let's even hear from you. Ha! Uh, you want to expose my documentary before the documentary time? Shit. So, so we go no waiting to look out for inside the documentary. Well, listen. At the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. And this is 2023. So, I mean, Storm, Storm Records, for all intents and purposes, got too big for their own britches. And that's, that's the honest truth. I mean, because Storm Records could have been, you know, in, in, all, in all honesty, it could have been like the, the Def Jam. It could have been the, the, you know, it could have been that, that successful African label that went fully global early. You get me? But, um, you know, in hindsight, when you don't really have your tools together, but you swear you have your tools together, and then you have a whole bunch of good soldiers ready to run with you in, in good faith, a lot, of, a lot of stuff gets mishandled. A lot of stuff gets... Um, Bruh, it crumbled, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to be I'm trying to be political if you noticed. Yeah. Because but I don't even know why I'm still trying to be political because at the end of the day, Nami suffer I'm the most. That's the honest truth. If I'm gonna be honest, Nami okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm no, down. No, 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 I need you in this energy. I need this energy from you. So tell us what can happen. Ah. But if I tell you say now just recently, at the end of at like in fact, I can't even say just recently because Oye will confirm that we're still going through the process of getting my old music. A lot of people keep on saying, hey, okay, Chiku, we can't find your music online or your first album, your second album, your third album, we can't find it online. That was because up until last year, the end of last year, it was being represented online by other entities than me. And every time that I fought that fight, you know, trying to get that stuff taken down by the entities. The entities claimed that it wasn't them that were the entities. But then last year, I took it upon myself to dig. And, you know, no pun intended, but the person in London, while I was in London last year, ended up being one of the entity's close friends by the name of Digger, who said, oh, yo, you know what? I was just doing what I was told, which in, in, indirectly implicated the entities that said that it was not them. And you, you know... I'd... Give us some, give us some, like, mention some names. Nobody go bite us this night. No, no, Storm Records now. Oh. That's Storm Records. That's Storm Records. And, you know, the Storm Records that I'm talking about is, is, like, you know, you said Storm Records was Olisa and Obi Asika, but the truth of the matter is, like, even Olisa will tell you today that, you know, he's gone through his own issues, you know, because he got he felt like he got stifled and he felt like he got uh, manipulated in that situation. So I do say, I would say is the only person who got out of that situation scot-free, you know, because he was able to utilize the scenario and dip out of the scenario and create something for himself without having to go through that turmoil. And if he did go through turmoil, you know, you would never know because Tola was like a like a mini Obi Asika. He kind of like was that Obi Asika when Obi Asika wasn't there. You get me? And he pretty much put out a lot of fires and he pretty much mediated a lot of madness, you know. But at the same time, he was that, you know, when the man at the top has that guy that does all his dirty work and all his clean work for him. So he can't really let go of that guy and he can't punish that guy if the guy leaves him and all that kind of... That was Tola. So Tola was in a very, very good position. Sure you get. Mm. Um, but, but everybody else, I mean, NATO, NATO was blood with Obi Asika, so NATO couldn't really um, 
I can't really speak on NATO's situation, Chega, because I'm not NATO. You get me? Um, but um, I dipped out because things were just not going the way that they should have been going. When uh, my first, out, my I, what'd you say? When you dipped out, did they fight you? I, I was insulted. I was fought. I was told I was an ingrate. I was told that they created me. And, you know, it was quite funny because that time, now the time where I don't they calm down. You know what I'm talking about. And if, if, you, if, if you are taking, if that shit had happened like maybe like a few years before that, I would have prob probably set that office on fire, literally. Like I would have probably got petrol and burnt that building down and wait mm. for them to come for me. But, you know, it was just, it was just a situation where it had to come to an end because my first album, nothing. Second album, nothing, you know. And even up until the third, up until when I left, there wasn't any actual contract in place where it had my signature on it. And so there was no real contract that was agreed. Everything that I did was in good faith. You get me? Mm -hmm. So, you know, there, there, there are a lot of, there are a lot of um, identified flaws in the entire engagement and interaction. Um, I can't say that the entire fault was on one side, but majority of it was. And that's just the bottom line. You know, at the end of the day, if you want to try explain the Kechuku situation against the Kechuku, no problem. But what happened with Dare? You also signed Alaye. What happened with Alaye? You did a short stint with two shots. Uh, did he sign or did he not sign? Who knows? Il Bliss came through, but did he sign? Did he not sign? We don't know. You know, there was Sasha. You know, there was uh, Sizu, Sauce Kid. There was, y, uh, there was Young Six. You know, and all these people fought, all these people fought and all these people left, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, pretty much what I've heard is after I left, it kind of like just went to, went to shits because, I mean, I carried, I, I personally, in my opinion, I carried that brand on my neck and on my back. You get me? And um, I don't feel. Feel like I don't I don't feel like I was appreciated over there. So I mean, yeah, that's why the the leaving happened. And in you know, there if you remember clearly, my third album was right around when the thing happened. So that's why my third album came out under my imprint and my imprint alone. It was actually supposed to be the Alliance. And oh. the Alliance, the cover work, the cover artwork for the Alliance was me, you know like a Libra, like a Libra sign, holding more hits in one hand and holding WFA in the other hand. Are you getting me? But um, that was the idea that would happen, but that ended up not happening. And, um, you know, I had to stand on my own. But at least Jazzy did give me three joints, you know, that two of them, two of the three actually took off and, you know, helped, you know, keep me going at that time. But yeah, man, that, mm. that, was, that was you know that was the situation in a nutshell. It gets deeper, you know, in the uh, in the documentary. Might go into more detail, you know. But um, yeah, bro, it wasn't a, it wasn't a pretty it wasn't a pretty situation. A lot of people think that that label situations are pretty, but label situations are never really pretty all the time. When did somebody saying Sasha pass? Sasha no pass. So I'm not sure Sasha eh? passed. That's what one person is saying. No pass. Sasha that I spoke to when <laughs> stop that nonsense. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. God forbid. What nonsense is that? Sasha is all right. Sasha is Sasha is thriving. Uh -huh. um, um, quick one, Mohit. Before we go back to what brought us here, quick one, Mohit. Um, you were an inside guy with Mohit. At a point, it was even rumored that you and the band had a physical squabble. Uh, and, ah, the famous, the famous squabble. Famous squabble, and, and the we famous we, squabble we, that never happened, eh? We know that we know how strong you are, so we they worry. <laughs> how did he survive it? Is what I wanted to ask you first, but yeah. especially know. that time. Sorry, I said especially that time. I'm telling you. So how did he survive it? He survived it because it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. I mean, like right. I'm, I'm telling you, it never happened. Like me and the band fight physically think about that bro like think about that you know, how long would that last really like like all of three and then yeah 
Uh, not, it was never. It was never something that one police station, the other one hospital. I'm not going to even reach police station. Why would I reach? Why would I even reach police station? Seriously, ah, because I don't even know because no, I can control myself now. That one no be that one no be rage. That one no go be rage beating. You understand? That one no go be, be rage beating. Like say you kill my papa or you kill my mama. You understand? Or you kill my brother or you kill my sister. I, I go kill you. I go just blank. I go they blow you, they kick you, they blow you, they kick you, they break you. I no go no say I don't kill you. I go still they beat your meat. You understand? That one no be rage beating. This one, that one go be I go teach you lesson beating. Where you go clear the person, slap the person with blow. You understand? <laughs> but that can't be those days. But I was that we're not like that anymore. <laughs> In fact, we're very we're very um, calm and shy these days. We talk too much. One more Oh boy, will come from behind and knock your head. <laughs> You'll be wondering what's happening. <laughs> anyway, final notes. Lovely hosting you, Ikechuku, man. Um, you really brought back memories. Thank Music, you, record, uh, record labels, Storm, Moo Hits. You know, the industry. We're all old men now. Bro, let me, let me remind you how old you are. You notice I didn't say we. You, yeah. <laughs> bro. More like to go. to I was just. Dekulik just came to see me yesterday. He lives here in Maryland. He just came to see me yesterday. Are you? Let me let me give you one expo. Let me give you one expo. I know Dekulik will get mad at me for saying this thing, but I have to say it. I have to say it. You know, Dekulik is one of the first people that gave me gave me opportunity back then. As far as like, cause he was he was very very popular back then. He didn't have to put me on that single. He didn't know, excuse me, he didn't know me from anywhere. You understand? He only knew me from um, Dare, who coincidentally was the first person to put me on with Fuji. That's the first place anybody ever saw me with Dare and Fuji. And Dekule was on that song too. Are you getting me? Yes. So because of that, subsequently, Dekule now put me on his own song. And that song was produced by Cobams. And he was also putting Femi Jacobs on in that video because Femi Jacobs, I think at that time, didn't really have a name like that. He wasn't, he wasn't big as he is, you know, but that shone light or shined light, shone light, oh, <laughs> whichever one, uh -huh, put light on him. You get me? And um, they could came to see me the other day and he was like, damn, man, that's, you know, when he was in Niger, things have changed though. Ah, say, even in guy, way, in go meet, say, me in guy. Help her because the guy don't tell her, say, ah, you go give him beat. Go back, say, you go give him beat. When they come, say, get one special song. Ah, no, 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 no. So because back then, ah, go back, even talk, say, ah, you help me, oh, you help me blow. Ah, when he reach, go back, say, go back, call five thousand dollars for him. He shake, 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 finish. He say, Baba, 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 me, Baba me. Ah, okay, Baba. Okay, Baba. If you give you like, you know, if you give me discount, I say, ah, no, 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 no. The price will be that too. I say, ah, they could let you. You don't suffer. You don't chop. And these kind of people, we suppose they say, ah, they could let see see my computer. Any bit where it's inside there, collect, man. You, ah, I owe you. That's what it's supposed to be now. That's what it's supposed to be, bro. Mm. So me, you know, like for me, man, I'm just like, man. A lot of people need from when he was put. Producing for Kevin Luciano and uh, what's that in question mark? Question mark. Let me tell you, that time Asha was up and coming. Yes, now. Oh, Harry Kong, oh, Asha, them. Yeah. Question mark. Their studio used to be Dream Plaza. Yes, now. Next to Prime Chinese. Opposite Prime Chinese. Next to, next to, yeah. next to. Next to. Mm. And you see Kobams working. That Sony deal, it was Kevin Luciano and his partner then, I've forgotten the guy's name, mm -hmm. that gave uh, uh, Cobams, that his Sony deal in London, mm. you know, or helped him get it. I don't know what the full story is. So we know all these people. From way back. From way back. That time, I shall not get car. Now, normal hustle, everybody. That time, now, Mode 9 be there, Organa, you don't forget. Yeah. Mode nine, nine be the star. Yes, no. You understand, and because because the the co partner 
I've forgotten what his name is now of question mark because it was Kevin and this other guy was a rapper. Mm. So he was more into, you know what, let's make this a rap thing. Because they, they, I remember when they had the rap summit or something like that back then. But mm. one way, it just didn't work out. Yeah. Industry is crazy. Um, I, has do, I, I really hope these boys, I really hope these boys do this, this 30 BG, Whiskey FC. I hope they I hope they come together and they do this shit. Because, bro, it's going to be big, man. And if they, if they actually add Burner Boy to that thing, eh, the three boys together, eh, that's something that those three people that you said from before didn't do themselves. P Squared, Two Face, and Mo Hits could have gone on tour back then, eh? And scattered the world. But you know, the world is ready for it now. All the uh, all the, the parameters are in place now. The technology has helped the tentacles of reach go so much further than we could have conceived before, you know? So it's like, bro, sold out in in Australia, sold out in Austria, sold out in Singapore, sold out in China, sold out in South America, sold out in Canada, sold out in Europe. These are things that can happen right and will happen right now. And we'll all love to be a part of it. I'm telling with, you. With all this, we're, we're giving you all these stories to one end. How important the industry is is and at and the same contingency plans <laughs> how fickle and transient mm. the industry yeah it took two brothers fighting each other to fall off that chart mm. Mm. it took a mm. world mm. producer world class entertainer having an ego problem yeah, yeah. and they chart. I don't know what happened. If if I had my way, I would have sat down with the band and Don Jazzy. I would have taken them back to a day before the breakup and said, whatever it is, don't do it. Hey. I don't think that's a lot of people a lot of people did that. You I know, don't think a lot of big men. A lot of big men did that thing you're talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Try to end the problem. But what was the real problem? Kills you. You cannot tell me you don't honestly know. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I think you know. If if I was asked and I had to give an answer, I would say one ship cannot have two captains. Mm -hmm. One ship cannot have two captains. At the end of the day, even if you even if you choose to share the power, one person still has to call the other person captain and actually believe it and embody it. Do you understand? Not just for mouth's sake. So when when it's when it's obvious, you know, that the the captain position is being, you know, questioned or dragged or what have you, at the end of the day, you know, there you can there you have a stalemate. You'll have mm. a stalemate. And when you have a stalemate, nobody wins. But in the end, you know that contingency plan will now be the deciding factor of who actually wins when that stalemate scatters everything because that's what the stalemate did it scattered everything you get mm. me and all it really needed to take was people behaving themselves you get me people mm. behaving themselves and you know actually being good to a certain degree because that word good eh, people don't forget what in good behavior be you know you it, it it comes from upbringing, you know, it comes from life experience, you know, and, you know, you learn as a Christian or as a Muslim or as anybody that is religious, there's good and then there's bad, you know, and um, if you, if, if it's quite apparent that a certain person or certain people are having bad behavior towards the general picture of the movement, then I mean, yeah, you can't blame anybody for wanting out. Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. it is, you can't blame anybody for wanting out. And when that kind of scatter, scatter, some people they take size. I don't even know they take size. Me, I don't even know say I take size. Now after I don't receive bad look and they don't want me say you we don't take size. I just say hey, wait, 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 wait. Hello, hello. Who, where, how? 
I don't take any sides. I don't take any sides. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm for the union. <laughs> I'm for the union. I don't. You, you, you people should not be doing this in the first place. You know. But uh, at the end of the day, because that, because one person and my friend, they talk say I take sides. I say everybody that my friend though. It's ah no, your brother, now your brother, now your brother. I say okay, oh. Not so, not so, not so, not so, not so. But you know, it's an unfortunate. It was an unfortunate situation, and um, you know, I really, I, I really wished that both parties, you know, were capable of building, and you know, getting to like, like think about it. If if Jazzy where Jazzy is, and with everything that Jazzy has done, the band also was on that same type of level, and everything they had done then we wouldn't have even been arguing or having these type of conversations because they would both be giving back. You know, they would both be giving back. They would both be doing tremendously. They would both be doing, but you know, you, it's obvious that one is doing better than the other, you know, especially in the music industry. So it's unfortunate, man. Who's doing better than the other? Which one is doing better? Your, your, your dirty question. You know, say I senior you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? The same thing. The same thing where they talk about. The same thing where they talk about just now about Wiz and Jalop. You can't try. You can't try claim me from underground. What's, what's the meaning of that? Eh? Freeze. Free. Free. Wait, see, wait, 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 wait. I, I truly see you, Abby. Eh? I, I, I truly see you. you. Seventy-six. I see all of you. You say you be seventy-six. Yes, now. Come on. Oh, shut up, there, small boy. I see you. We uh, hear the boy. Seventy-four. Calm down. Calm down. Are you? Serious. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, calm down, down Jeff. You want me to tell you password? Like eh? eh? That means you are like ten years older than the band. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Actually, eight years. Eight eh? years. Eight. And the two of you look like age mates that time. We still do. Forget all these gray hairs. All of us get gray hairs right? just because we know die, die. You hear me? You get me? You get me? Because if I if I die all these ones, uh, you die on your own. Uh, be back to cool FM. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know. On 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 a very serious note, yeah. What we've been saying the whole time is the band burner and sorry, Davido burner and Wiz. Yeah, can be the big thing. They are the big thing. They just they are the big together thing. like Voltron. Big thing. It's one thing for you to be the big thing now, and for you to be the next big thing. Yeah, and it's a good thing for you to be the former big thing. Oh. let them yeah. learn. Beef, a little bit of beef here and there is healthy. Oh, but it's not, they're not butchers. This is not a butchery. This is the time for collaborations. Yeah. Meaningful collaborations. Well, you, you, see, you see, the thing The thing is, a lot of people in our industry, right, depending on how many hits they've had recently and, you know, how popular they are in the moment, they, they always do this thing where they go, they look the next man, like, say, if they do job with them or if they collab or did they help them, or they help you, you know, they call me me because I go help you because now me go lift you up. You won't come ride my coattails. You won't come. You understand now that kind of mentality with David. Game. That's why when you watch David and you know lifting up everybody around him. You know what I'm saying? It's a new wave. It's not something that has been practiced in our industry. That's mm. why it sticks out so heavily, like a sore thumb, and you can't. And it is undeniable. You get me? To be honest. David, David carries the team along better than anybody else has ever done David, in the game, bro. David, David. Let's David be honest. Let's, like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. I've never, who has done it as who has done that specific thing? That specific thing of making sure that everybody that comes through you gets some level of success, gets some like opportunity to upgrade in life in general and sustainability like who uh, who we need to give that we need to give that to him then to burner mm. burner's mm. is the embodiment of 
African sound mm -hmm. in one person. Yeah, Bernard's. Let me let you finish talking. Sorry. Is phenomenal. For did you see? Did you see the day Bernard went to PDD's house? PDD was waiting outside, open door for mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Growing up, we used to look at like the highest dawn. Dada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Wiz. Wiz has what you call the perfect sound. And I think I think I think Berna has the perfect sound. Huh. I think I would, Berna has the perfect I, sound. I, Berna, Berna is just the embodiment of the sound of Africa. But not just, just that, not just that, not just that, Baba, not just that. He has that granted. But what he has now intertwined with that is an authentic sound of the black man from Europe and the authentic sound of the black man from North America. Do you understand? He has carried everybody's culture to an explainable, understandable language that only comes from him. Hmm. I'm telling you, go and check it. Because no. Bernard Alon, dumb boy. Bona na London boy. And Bona, he don't he don't Yankee pass most Yankee boys. Do you understand? So he don't enter street everywhere. He don't enter street everywhere. You understand? And he don't embody the thing inside waiting in don't carry from, from birth as a African Nigerian boy. Do you understand? Especially with the KKKKK we come from your mama. You understand? So all of that together inside, bro. Is is the is the perfect sound, and that's why mm. even when you can see those memes, not even memes, but those viral clips going around now, where they'll be trying to sing his songs and they don't know the words, but they'll get to the chorus and they'll start singing it with all their chest. Do you understand? This is not particular to They'll be doing all that. Oh, you both Arab, Chinese, Korean. Do you understand? So it's not like they're understanding the words, but they're understanding him, the vibe, the, spirit. the soul, the, the spirit. Yes. So yeah. now there, now there you can talk in a perfect sound, Baba. You understand me? If anybody wants to disprove me, better disprove me. Oh. You don't win me. No be Bible argument. Make I just concede this one because I know they're waiting after <laughs> And from me, the final note, Jolof with David Berner, uh please this is the time for collabos this is the time to uplift the industry the jamaicans had it in the 90s but they fumbled remember mm. the time tabarangs chakadimas and pliers yeah, but, uh, would you say they really fumbled because they try you they try you able to today man the work with them do they, eh? they, they dropped it the, the jamaica the jamaica is no longer the force it used to be musically and mm. what i'm trying to say is Nigeria. You're right, you're right. You're right. I agree with you on that one. We've taken that from them, unfortunately. Today is what Jamaica was in 1990. Mm. The mm. Bad Cop, Super mm. Cat. Uh, mm. and Pliers. Barrington Levy. That, Barris that, Hammond. That year. Eh? Bounty Killer. Bounty, Bounty Killer. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Buju Bantan. Spraga Benz. Spraga Benz was later. Spraga Benz was too fast. Still nice. He still, still help us. Patra. That was it. Patra. Lady Thor. Lady Thor. Yeah, as in, that was that era. Shabaranks. Mad Shabar. Cobra. As in, as in, you see, you see. Mad Cobra. Oh, God. <laughs> And boys in Nigeria, all of a sudden, I remember in my hood in Arimo in Ibadan. Boys begin to speak patwa. Yes, now. Nah. Upon the year where my mom me had talk them patwa, you understand me now? All of us, all of us them talk them. All of us them talk it up. We talk it up. We talk it up when I smoke the ganja. We have talk it up, you know what I say? Now, instead of them holding on to this, yeah. they let it slip from their grip. Baba, see ya. Global village now. If Nigeria does not hold this one, the next this is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about.
talking about and imagine how much imagine how much stronger the grip would be on it if our boys take this thing on tour together simple simple hmm? because they don't understand i said your children will grow up and leave. my children already they watch what it will be at, in the history of the industry globally diana king that's it At diana king mad do you understand now 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 do you know that our kids now have started watching this chinese or is it japanese my daughter go by one sword 15k i want mad i say waiting with this well uh, what, what are those japanese cartoons or the chinese cartoons anime anime, anime anime yeah then you know now they have small small music inside the anime my children don't begin they sing them bro i'll be i'll be huge oh, anime fan since i saw the fit talk <laughs> what am i trying to say in this anime yes yeah. whether you like it or not the japanese the asians are trying to steal this market oh always and they always kill. as long as our boys you see our sound is not going to last forever mm. Mm -hmm. we must build how is dry and bony so, uh, unfortunately for the asians no matter how much they try to steal afrocentric music because they tried it with even the caribbeans centric music they're just gonna come with their own and push out what what happened with patois what happened with uh reggae music mm -hmm. with uh there was a name they called uh the type of reggae that shabarans them used to do it was dance dub, dub, dance hall dub, 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 dance or dub dance or you know once it lost favor hip-hop came next mace diddy Usher, it was a new movement. All of a sudden, now the baton don't reach our hand. Kills don't. I don't think we're gonna let it. We're not gonna drop it. We we're not gonna fumble it. My brother, you are being hopeful yes, right now. now. Yes, now. You are wishfully thinking. Imagine, imagine this kind of concert. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine it called the the Afro tour. No, even no. Remove the beat. Afro tour. David, mm. Waze, Berna, Rema, Ruga, CK, uh, no Olamide. Need. You know what? No need for the up and comings. Ashake. You know what they're talking about? Ashake must be there. They said they will do their own. Berna, Waze, David. Finish. Finish. That's, that's what they Finish. should call it. David. Finish. Okay. Burn you're right. Waze. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You, the one, this one where you talk, it makes sense for us to, to be honest. Follow up, follow up, it happen. Yeah, all those follow up, but this tour must happen. These three on one, it must happen. On one stage. And they will do two or three cities in Nigeria. Another five or five. That one is not but that, no 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 no. See, see, see. You you have to be you have to be pragmatic and you have to be reasonable. Doing two or three cities in Nigeria is not feasible. It's not it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it has to be one. One, you know, anything after that one is a bonus for us. We have to be honest. Sure, you get fantastic. Yeah. Chris, yeah. Daniels is big. Chris Daniels is amazing. But right now, the, the three the three guys in Nigeria, one, two, and three. We're not gonna give any of them one, two, or three, but they are not top three. You, you can't argue with David Waze Burner. They are the biggest right now. If bro, some people you know that some people will argue that thing with you because right now I don't know anyone who is streaming more than Rema. Yeah, I said that very confidently. You can you don't carry this thing to another rev level Who's now. You streaming more than Rema. I don't think anybody is. Exactly. So who is the biggest? Rema. If not that Who? Eh? Who is who is Re Rema is under whose management? Is not the prince? Is not Jonesy? Jonesy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, man. See, yes, Ibo man, just clear money, please. What's wrong? Why you see why are you going tribalistic? What's wrong with you? You don't follow Brimo now. You don't follow Brimo movements now. Weibo man, Sabi make money. Jones <laughs> Prince, I'm coming to look for you. You have to I had I had I had a, a Brimo apologize. Did he? Did he really? He apologized like, like person we chop it. They don't, they don't tell me go apologize. But you don't chop, you know, you don't chop the hundred thousand. You don't chop the hundred thousand years you finish, Abby.
<laughs> Baba, I no go talk again. I no go talk again. Now here I end the live before we put ourselves inside that trouble than we were before we started this live. Ladies and gentlemen, it was meant to be something else, but I'm honored to have a veteran in the game uh, when it comes to rap music in Nigeria, one of the frontiers. Um, I'm still in the game. Game, bro. I'm still in the game. I dropped a single tomorrow. Brand new. YG Vonchi. They talk say I know they rap for Ibo. Sometimes I rap for Ibo, but sometimes my 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 New York it too they do me. So don't vex for me when you hear me doing my New York shit. You get me? That's how I get down. And this record I'm dropping on Friday. It's my New York shit. So if you love it, you love it. If you don't love it, I don't care what you say because I'm not DMX. I'm Mika You know go. Ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful time it was. Ikechuku kills tonight. It's been, it's been, we, we never had anything less than 1,300 people, 1,290 people watching from the beginning to the end of this two hour episode. And I must appreciate, I learned a lot. I also dropped a lot of uh, hints and vibes. We gotta do this, we gotta do this more often, Freeze. We gotta do yeah. this more often. I like talking to you. See, we don't really have that many intellectual people in our industry. It's unfortunate. Well, well, you're right. And maybe some who are intellectual drop intellectually at, at, aside to just focus on the bar, which I mm. don't blame them. At the end of the day, Nigeria ain't going to pay your bills. So, uh, uh, Stella Dimoko. Good privilege, man. Thank you very much because I know how much, you're you know, welcome. I know what, I know how much your time costs. Baba, no, this, this is for the industry. This is for the culture. Yeah, man. We've got, Promote the culture. God bless you, kills. God bless, bless like you, brother. God bless always, you. Always, always my on your side, man. You already know, man. Always love forever. God bless. Every single person who joined us tonight, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We loved hosting you. We loved having you. And we'll, we're going to do this more often. Take care and God bless. God bless.